Hi, this is Paul from paulrobby.com and another analysis on an OTC stock, another lithium uh, stock. We looked at one uh, the, the previous week. This was one um, United Lithium Core. Uh, this is the weekly time frame. So again, fever pitch around the EV market, electrical vehicle market. Um, and the, this company uh, is exploration and development. It looks like it's going to be doing 9,000 meters of drilling in Sweden. Uh, and looking really, really um, positive here. EV market on fire right now, and this is looking like a good potential um, investment here. So we had the listing back here in 2018. We had a nice move up, and then we've had a pullback. Like a lot of these uh, particular lithium nickel type stocks, uh, they've pulled back and found great support. Uh, the extension, the FIB extension, uh, really, it's, it's between this 1.612, 1.786. There's really strong um, support here, and we've started to move up in 2020. So this is the weekly time frame here, and on there you can see I've just put um, a zone which we need to be interested in right now as well. The bottom of the zone where my cursor is, we had a, an attempt to move out and failed. And then just recently, we had an attempt to move out and failed again. So that forms the top and the bottom of this uh, zone, if you like, this resistance, uh, which we would look to get through. Now, we'll go to the daily time frame. We can see this uh, support more clearly in this zone. We see it moves down, and we can see very range bound in here, uh, low, low volume. Uh, but then when we start to pull up, in 2020 we has a, have a nice move up we have the initial move come back to test the top of this support zone down here and then a nice move up going into 2021 and now we've had some profit taking the thing for me here is to take away is this move up had a real big spike in volume the profit taking you can see the volume curtailing off here this this profit taking pullback Finding support and the volume dropping off means there's not very many sellers right now. Uh, and I think once uh, we, this support is confirmed, we'll have another move up. Uh, Stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone here. Uh, we've got a, the, a, the 55 moving average on this daily time frame holding as support. So that's a non-linear support. It has been tested on numerous occasions over the last year. A really strong non-linear support zone so what I'm going to do now is just a little bit little bit move up uh, look closer on a four hour time frame on this move up and pull back so Elliott Wave big fan of Elliott Wave use it a lot uh, and we can see here uh, one two three four so this is uh, basically performing and behaving like a typical Elliott Wave bullish move the pullback on the way for is quite deep, but when we look at it more closely, the 55 and 89 on this four hour really holding as that non-linear support. We're hanging on to this red pullback zone for the wave four, which is the last chance saloon, if you like. During this wave four pullback, we can see this drop in volume, which is fantastic. Less people wanting to trade take profit. There'll be more people now looking to invest in this fifth wave move up. Looking at the behavior of this fifth wave move, we use this uh, 535 oscillator. During the May 4, it's pulled back between 1940% and crowned beautifully. On the false breakout stochastic here, these yellow dots on the top denote strong bullish move. And then when we pull back against there, crossover in the oversold zone, the likelihood is it wants to return to that um, overbought zone, uh, bullish zone there. So, you know, we have got this big weekly um, resistance zone uh, in our way, but we've, we have got a target around $1.70 here, this fifth wave target zone. So there's some, there's some reasonable potential here if this support holds. As usual, I like to go and have a look at the correlations. So Tesla is one of the, you know, the biggest driver in this market, if you like, and that's in the blue here. So... We can see in 2020 we had this meteoric rise then we've had this pullback right now uh, we've got lac another lith lithium producer here same sort i've used this previously in another 
uh, with another stock and then we've got ULTHF this uh, United Lithium core so again we can see that nice move up here we spiked a little later so it's, you know, again with an OTC stock uh, it reacts slightly after the fact so Tesla started really profit taking January the 4th 2021 uh, really this didn't happen until uh, February the 22nd so you can see here there's a slight delay uh, there's less volume than being traded in Tesla and usually that's the case so you know when we see Tesla start to move up on that fifth wave move for example there might be a slight delay but that's what we would expect from ULTHF and LAC in the same respect uh, because those correlations are very very tight here so one thing we've got to be looking at really is Tesla to lead the way LAC to then follow and then ULTHF will be slightly delayed but we, we, the correlations are strong enough for that to to move with Tesla so again very uh, you know strong potential the volume if we go back to the daily time frame and that's how I measure it really that daily volume the open the close we can see we've had this big uh, spike here on this move up nice gentle pullback on the profit taking and then we should see increased volume as this price action moves up again so uh, good looking potential on United Lithium Core uh, links below this video will uh, go give you uh, an outlook you know fundamental analysis financials some news on the sector but really some good information S small article there um, talks about um, how well this company is positioned uh, the the project in in Sweden uh, the project in Canada uh, this this is you know all about management there's a, there's a good information on this link so please uh, go and visit and, and do your own due diligence so hopefully that helps I'll speak to you all really soon